So uh, can start our the the second pair that is our the lab can so the Siemens Siemens come lab. So uh, this is our the model. The it is the more that the that is a prismatic model with the planar surfaces, but uh, can always this uh, can uh, click here the application to uh, open our the 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 Enix cam environment so application and as usual click on manufacturing and here the you can uh, here the select the cam general also and here you can uh, select the, here the which the environment you are the working uh, for example the mill planner we have seen with the the prismatic element that's the planner surface that's the face milling drilling operations and so on and uh, for example the, for the turning that yesterday i showed but uh, i will also the go back to the turning to i think that the, for the and the sun saturday and the lesson so uh, now uh, we are in the with the meal counter the uh, in the group of the meal counter where we are the, working on the three axes the milling operations mostly for the the drafting finishing and so on and that this one the meal planner is also the three axes in general the three axes uh, for the programming three axes cnc machines but the difference between the meal planner in the meal counter is that uh, in the mill planner, you mostly work like the prismatic elements, and uh, your the G code that is output G code that will be the, the X and the Y axis will be the in the, the and the Z axis will be in the different uh, different columns. So the in a row, sorry, the in a different row. So X and Y axis will be the in the same. Row uh, with the same number and uh, that axis will be the differently controller. In the mill counter, that we mostly you will focus. For example, uh, let me here go here. Uh, in the mill counter options, you will force mostly this will create this kind of complex shapes and so on. So in the mill planner, we have seen that is the work piece will be the flat surfaces like this. But uh, in the mill counter, also you can work with uh, this kind of the surfaces also now we are the, in the this group so i will select the new counter just click ok and uh, as usual when here the your the nx come environment open up firstly you need to define your the work piece this is our the final work piece and you need to define your the stock value and your the coordinate system in order to do this as usual you need to go here to select here the geometry view and open this one, double click on the workpiece. And here, see the workpiece is not selected. I not, I need to specify the model workpiece. Click on the specify the workpiece and uh, select your workpiece here. Click OK. And uh, next step, you need to specify your blank, your the stock value. Click on this one. And uh, I want to use here the, as a boundary block. So let's, this is our the boundary block. This is our stock. I want to just remove the, these portions and create here the these pockets. So I will can here the change your the boundary. So I want to keep here the zero, all of them. So click OK. And you can see here this is our the part and this is our the stock value, our the blank. So click OK. So uh, we defined our the part and stock. Now we can define our the zero point for the our the program double click on the disk and you can put any position your the work piece in the corner or you can put here the, on the center of the this hole and so on i want to keep here the my zero point on the this position my coordinate position click ok so here the my zero point so we defined our the part and the stock zero point now let me just show here the operation create operation since uh, before the launching our the nx camp we selected the mill counter and here that's why the mill counter is the the automatically will be active here but anyway you can change 
to the any operation you can go to the meal planner that we have seen here the old operations and uh, if you're the missing that you can look all the the materials that i uploaded the videos and uh, here within the meal counter that is three accesses uh, for the operating or three accesses so the with the meal counter i already also explained that some operation that is the cavity milling that is the uh, here the adaptive milling and so on and uh, here the uh, most commonly used uh, this one is the cavity milling is the for the roughing operation and uh, you know is the roughing operation is the uh, use it in order to remove the, the large portion of the material and some material anyway will be the remained after the roughing operation and here adaptive milling and the uh, plunge milling that is uh, this and here the corner rough is for is the is the generally used for the roughing operations in the mill counter and uh, there are the, some the 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 they different between the each other uh, in a in a tool pass operations but most commonly use is the uh, cavity milling it is the most commonly and most easiest one let's try to use this one so click on this one here this location i want to click here the program but here you see that we don't create any tool so far let me just cancel the this operation firstly create uh, my tool for the this roughing operation i will cancel the, this one and here click on the tool i want to create a tool and here you see mill counter is active and for the roughing operation that we will use the end mill with the flat nose so click on this one you can define here the name of your tool for example mill for example you can write the end mill you can write any this tool, for example with the 10 diameter click ok and the tool is created here and then let's make here the change the diameter that's 10 millimeter as usual you can create here the the shark and holder that we have seen i will skip to these steps and click ok and on the machine tool view you can see the our tool is created now now we can start to create our the operation the create operation the cavity mill is the roughing operation in this case we can select my tool now so the workpiece should be selected in the geometry and the method is the rough you can define here the name for example you can write the cavity mill that is the big rough operation click ok so uh, if you click ok here what is the important uh, here the cut area specify the cut area so you can uh, specify your the cut area in the cavity milling or you cannot you don't need to specify your the cut area so in this case if i click here the uh, directly without any uh, editing that this well uh, just i will if i generate my tool pass it will automatically generate a tool pass and uh, the system automatically recognize the uh, the stock our the stock and our the workpiece and uh, removes the material in the roughing operation so without any editing here you can just click that to generate and to see your the tool pass and go to the verify so you can uh, three dynamic the degree is the this one and just here the, the play you see it will automatically just remove the material for the layer the depth is the six millimeter here the every depth so this is the cavity milling is the very useful tool that's a very useful operation you see it automatically that recognize the workpiece and the stock and the start to remove the material that the depth per cut is the six millimeter in this case so every time that uh, removes the six millimeter and go to the another and so on you can easily use the discovery milling but here some material is remained because it is roughing operation uh, so but uh, you can do some optimization with the cavity milling if you look here and uh, let me reset here the my the simulation if you see uh, it is the 
the removing the six millimeter here and go to the another pocket to remove the six millimeter and go to the another pocket to remove the, the six millimeter and it is the wasting of the time of the tool moment. Uh, we can make some optimization. That means that I will stop here. What the kind of optimization? Firstly, we can make the remove firstly this part that until the finish of this part that remove the until the old here and the this one then this one then not uh, that is the, this one so it means that you can make some optimization in this case you can go to the the cutting parameters and here in the strategy you see the the it is the here the cut order is a level first is active in my case is level let me can change the depths first in this case, it will create that uh, creates the depths. Then it will go after finishing one depth, it will go to the next pocket. So I will generate here, click to generate. So you can make some optimization. And what is the important that is the here you see that the depth maximum distance is a six millimeter. This is the depth of cut, it's a six millimeter. You can uh, decrease the this value, for example, two millimeter, and uh, generate here. So the depths will be the, uh, decreased every time along the z-axis will be the this distance will be the in this case two millimeter before it was the six millimeter and uh, let me just uh, verify here. So in this case you see it will firstly finish with the this pocket because I changed my the the cut order the depths first. So it will finish with the depths on the this pocket. In the previous one, it was just remove the one layer and go to the another to remove the. It is the somehow the wasting of the time. So in this case, it will finish with the the initial pocket. Let me just speed up. So then it will go to the second pocket. Then until the, it will be finish with the, this one. Then it will go to the another one. So this is the the so how to make some optimization on your tool pass using the the depth order. I will stop here. And uh, here, what I want to uh, uh, explain here also the specify the cut area. So since we don't specify the any cut area, so it automatically recognize the stock and your the material and start automatically just to remove the material but here you can specify the some specific area so in order to do this go to the specify the cut area and just here the method you can the face and just i want to remove the this face only click ok and uh, if you the generate your tool pass the tool pass only the generator on the this selected that is a specified uh, the area. You can uh, verify and uh, the play that will remove only the this portion. The other portion will not will be the removed any material because we don't select it as a cut area or the other portion. So uh, this is the how individually you can define your the cut regions. That is the machining regions using the cut specify the cut area you can go to the chain here and you can add for example this area here uh, sorry this you can add this area so this area click ok and uh, this is okay that's the generate now our the cut area is increased so depth first is active Firstly, it will finish with this pocket. Then it will go to the next pocket. It's the roughing operation. And it will go to the next pocket. So uh, this is the how to specify the cut area. So if you don't uh, specify the any cut area, like here that I will delete my the cut areas here. You see I deleted it and uh, just uh, generate without specifying the cut area. This the software automatically that removes the stock value from the order workpiece, so all will be generated. So this is how to easy use the cavity milling for the roughing operation. 
and uh, here you can uh, uh, define your the cut pattern in this case it was the follow part you can use the follow periphery uh, you can define here the step over value and the percentage we have seen uh, here uh, you can uh, define the cutting parameters the feed weights for example go to the feed weights and speed and here you can activate the spindle speed that is the, the our the the spin the rotation in the rpm for example you can make here the 1000 and just here they click to calculate to calculate here the your the feed weights and the other the parameters with respect to the this one so click ok you can specify the this values also so uh, i will click ok so here the this one is our the cavity milling i will generate this one how to use the this cavity milling operation So the uh, here I would call the make cavity milling the roughing operation. So let me just uh, here the create the new program. Let me just rename this one. That is uh, let me make it program one. Let me delete it this one so uh, here in the create operation that uh, we have other the 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 roughing operation is adaptive milling and the uh, plunge milling the they are the the also used for the uh, roughing operation in the adaptive milling uh, you don't need to uh, define your the cut pattern so what is the cut pattern? If you go to the your the cavity milling here, I will double click on the cavity milling. Here you see that you can define the the cut pattern. You can define as a follow part, uh, follow periphery, zigzag, and so on. Uh, you can define your the 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 movement your your the, your the cutting in the cavity milling. But in the case of the adaptive milling, you don't need to indicate your the the cutting movement. It will uh, automatically recognize according to your the tool shape. So let's see here this one. The almost the same. So roughing operation is used here. Click OK. And uh, again, uh, here uh, you can just uh, this uh, just to generate your the tool pass. It will generate the tool pass for the adaptive milling. So take some time here for the. Uh, in the adaptive milling, you don't need also indicate here the cut regions. It automatically recognizes the, the your stock and the, your the part to be the machine and automatically this uh, removes the material, the stock value from your the the product, and the tool pass will be the generated according to your the shape. Of your the work this is the cut pattern you see you don't need to indicate here the cut pattern here we don't have the menu to define your the cut pattern as we did in the in the case of the the cavity melee need to make we need to make uh, wait a little bit Maybe some view views.
Seconds, so just a minute. So it always takes a minutes for the generating the tool pass in adaptive milling. So almost finish it. So again, uh, here select the verify to see the our tool pass uh, to click the play. So this is the adaptive milling since uh, here we created our the let me stop here and uh, click OK. So we already just uh, removed material with the cavity mill. Let me just delete this one. So this was the adapt milling now. Uh, again, let's click delete uh, this one also. Let's delete this one. So uh, here, create operation. So this was the adapt milling and uh, the plane milling, also the roughing operation. but. In the plane milling, the your tool pass always will be along the z axis, so up and down movement. So let's see the this one. Click OK. And uh, here the same. You can specify the any specific the cut area what we have done in the cavity milling. But if you generate your tool pass, it will automatically the create the tool pass and removes the stock value from the material in the plunge milling. So you see the tool movement is the up and down. Uh, we will now see the, the simulation that is the user for the, again, for the roughing operation. So this is our tool pass for the, our the plunge milling we can the verify. So let's create. So you see the tool is moving up and down movement remove the material is the uh, again the roughing operation is the call is the plane milling and the, this kind of operation is mostly used for the high speed machining the because the tool need to be the high enough the hard to, to be the machine with this ones here are the some materials remaining here the, for the finishing operation. So uh, in general, the among the cavity among the roughing operations, the which we seen three types, the the cavity milling is the most commonly used. That frequently used the, to remove the large portion of the material. So yeah, this is the, the plunge milling. So uh, here the another type of the here the corner rough. So this is the user in order to remove the materials on the corners of your the element here on the pockets. Here we have the some material will be the remaining on the corners. So this is the user for the this operation is the corner rough. So this is also the roughing operation, even if the after the for the this operation that some material will be the remain uh, on the uh, on the, the on the on the after the this operation so in order to do this uh, you need to create another tool so create a tool uh, let's create a tool uh, here the create a tool uh, let's create a tool with the diameter of the four for the corner of operation 
click OK and create operation. This corner of click OK. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just cancel this one. Create operation here that change the tool to this one, the second tool, staffing operation. Okay. And what is the important? Uh, here in the corner of you need to specify that the reference tool for the roughing of the corner. So as a reference tool, in this case, we will use the, the previous tool, which is the diameter of the 10 millimeter, which is the user for the roughing operation. This is used in the plunge milling in this case. So you need to specify that here, the, the this tool, but the, the tool itself here, the user is the which tool is created with the diameter of the four millimeters. So this is the important to work the corner rough in the properly way. So now generate the other tool pass. You see the, the tool pass is generated here the on the corners only. So it is the, in order to roughing the corners of your the workpiece. And you can uh, verify tool pass. Let's click on play. Uh, this uh, roughing operation here that we need to again make the finishing operation anyway. So we have seen the finishing operations. So click OK here, click OK, uh, click operation that uh, you can make the finishing operation. Since here we have the planar walls here, the planar walls with the planar floor here. You can use here the mill planner option to finish the walls, which we have seen here, the finish wall. You see that it is used for the finishing operation and uh, finish the floor and uh, here the clean up the corners, which we have seen uh, this operation already in the group of the mill planner. You can use the, this operations here that easily to remove the this material is remained here after the roughing operations. So uh, I will skip this operation. So create operation. Now I want to show here the sum of the operation. Here the what is the is the rest milling. Uh, this is the also the for the three accessors and uh, this is the semi finishing operation. Mostly they use it after this three, four roughing operation that you can use the rest milling operation. That is the semi finish and here that we have the Z well profile. This is also the the semi finish operation the, the for the profile you know the, what is the profile is the profile in order to remove the here the along the profile here and here the zero corner that is also the semi finish so let's see that these operations now this is the uh, this is the use for the semi finishing operation so this is the roughing operation that's for and uh, after the roughing operation some material will be the remained around the one millimeter we can check how much material is remained? For example, here to go to the here the machine method view. Double click on the, the here. So you see, after roughing operation, one millimeter stock material will be remained. You can change this value by yourself by the typing the any value. How much material do you want to remain after the roughing operation? And in the semi finishing, double click on it. And the semi finishing, there is the 0 0.25 millimeter stock material will be the remained. So, uh, so this is the following to the roughing operation. You can change this value also. So in the finishing here, you see it will be always the zero material will be remained. So now we made here the roughing. Now we will make the finishing, then finishing, then you can make the finish itself. So create operation. Here the this rest milling, the Z well profile and the Z well corner is used for the semi finishing operation. So let's start with the Zwell test rest milling. Uh, you can use the, this tool. That is the, in this case, the method. You need to go to the, the mill. That's the semi finish. Click OK. Since the, it is the, the rest milling, and uh, you can just, uh, again, simple, generate your tool pass. It will. The automatically generated tool pass that is the removed uh, material that is the remained after the, the roughing operations. Some material 
This is the two points. This is the two. Uh, again, again, the verify. So simulate. It is the moving here. So some materials remain it here. You see, it's semi finishing operation. Even if some material will be there in a minute. You can uh, speed up our animation. You can see there the, 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 the removing the, the material, but again, some few materials, the 0 point, around 0 0.25 stock is to remain it. It's the same finishing operation. So click OK. Click OK. So uh, here we created the rest milling. It's the semi finishing operation. Uh, create operation. And uh, this V well profile also the 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 semi finishing operation but it will create the, the tool pass only the on the profile of your the work piece the profile on the this pocket and the profile of your the around your the the work piece so is the we now what is the profile you see the the illustration it will only the create the profile movement along the wall so uh, here let's use the this tool again and the semi finish click OK and uh, here the let's uh, create the directly generate the tool pass it will only create the, the tool pass along the profile of your the on the on the profile so even if on the outside or in the in the pocket profile on the walls and you can define here the depth per cut so if you make here the one it will it will remove the one millimeter in this case now it's six so it is the six millimeter, but if you make here the one and uh, generate it, it will start more the accurate tool pass. You see, it will be the increase at this depth per cut. So on the profile, so that verify, and uh, you can uh, verify your tool pass. So this is also the semi finishing operation. Since the, we performed the semi finishing operation before with the rest milling, so uh, there is no any materials uh, removing because uh, we already did the semi finishing operation. This one also does the same, the semi finishing. You can use the any of them that for the semi finishing operation as a rest milling or profile, Z well or corner Z well and so on. That's three is used for the semi finishing. So since here, uh, let me just show here, we already use here that this one as a rest milling as a semi finishing. That's why on the this uh, we are not removing any material because already it is removed on this step. The same way here, you can use here the Z well corner. So is this uh, used for the semi finish only in the corner? We made here the roughing, uh, roughing on the corners, but you can make here the semi finish on the corner. The same method. So let me just cancel. And firstly, uh, let's uh, delete this the semi finish operations because I want to use another semi finish operation. Could generate the you know, operation here the dribble corner so it's the uh, use it for the semi finishing operation of the corners the semi finish click OK again since it is the corner uh, the corner for the semi finish you need to specify the reference tool as a previously used tool in this case the tool diameter is a ten. And you need to click here to select this one as a tool. It will use the four millimeter. So now you can uh, generate. 
So the toolpath will be degenerated only on the corners. So it is the semi finish here, the, this operation. So I will click OK. So uh, here we 